What is going on guys, it's Modded Dwarfer here. Welcome back to another episode of PS4 Jailbreak Tutorials. This is the series that shows you how to take full advantage of your jailbroken PS4. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom PS4 themes. Now, this is something that, um, you know, it's kind of just something you can do for fun. You can create your own custom themes and install them onto the PS4 or use some custom themes that other people have created. I'll also show you guys how to install some permanent themes as well which are themes that have been dumped from other people's PS4s, official themes like the ones that you get with certain special editions of games and stuff when they come with a theme. There's loads of them posted online that you can download and those are permanent. The difference between a custom theme and a permanent theme is that custom themes, you will lose it when you're no longer running Hen or Mira. So when you restart the PS4, uh, you will lose the theme. You'll have to run Hen or Mira again and then reapply it. Obviously, you can use sleep mode to avoid losing the theme. Just go into sleep mode instead of turning the console off. That's a way of keeping the, the theme on. They're not permanent in that sense, whereas permanent themes, obviously the ones that are dumped from official themes that have been dumped on the PS4, those will be permanent so that when you restart the PS4, you will keep the theme on. So I'm going to show you guys both of that here in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is switch over to the computer. Okay, so once we're on the computer, I'm going to try and create a PS5 theme for the PS4. I'm sure someone's already done that or done a better version than what I'm going to try here, but we'll see how it goes. What I did was I essentially just grabbed some assets from my PS5 uh, and created some custom ones. So for sound, I went ahead and recorded me scrolling through the menus on the PS5 just to get the kind of cancel, select and scroll sound bites and recorded those, stuck them in Audacity and chopped them up into little sound bites, which is what you need in order to kind of change the scroll, select and cancel noises on the PS4. So I went ahead and did that. I also recorded the background theme as well on the PS5. So I can go ahead and replace the PS4 one with that one with for our theme. And I've created some of these custom assets, like all of these custom, uh, you know, content icons and function icons. And the reason I was able to do that is that I have also got the stock icons for the content icons and for the function icons, which I will link in the video description so that you guys can, you know, customize those in Photoshop yourself and create your own custom icons. So there you go. So once you've got all of that stuff, we're going to use the theme creator to create our custom theme. Uh, the fake package tools is only required for an audio converter inside here called the VAG convert to W.exe, which is for the sound bytes because the sound bytes has to have to be converted to that VAG format in order for them to work as on your custom theme. That's the only reason you need the fake package tools. Uh, so if you're not creating any custom sound bytes, then you don't really need that. And then finally, we're going to use the PS4 theme creator, which is a tool I made a few years ago for creating static themes. You can also use it as a kind of guide to create a, a dynamic theme as well. Dynamic themes have kind of moving images and stuff in the background and like little animations and stuff. So you can, it's not really designed for, for dynamic themes, but you can just use it to create a template for the dynamic theme um, and then add your dynamic assets in afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and use this. I'm just going to create a static theme just because it will be easier and quicker. Okay, so we're going to run the theme creator. And as you can see, this gives you a kind of preview of what the theme is going to look like. So we're going to click on File and New Theme to create a brand new theme. And then we're going to call this theme PS5 Theme. And I'm just going to keep it on the desktop. And that will create the theme right here, as you can see. So what we're going to do is kind of customize this a little bit. You can switch between the function menu here and the standard home screen back and forth. So I'm going to use this obviously PS5 assets that I've created. And one of the things I got on here was a screenshot of my PS5's kind of background right here. So I just got that with my capture card. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that onto the canvas and it will add it on. And I'm also going to do that same one for the function background menu as well. I can just drag it straight in. And you can also click these three dots to browse manually for it if you can't drag and drop it. Same with all of the other stuff like the sound bites and the main theme and uh, the theme icon, just click it to browse. So once we've got that added, the next thing we're going to do is add our content icons and also select a theme color as well. 
This is just for the kind of settings menu. So you've got like blue, pink, red, dark blue, gray, yellow, or cyan for the settings menu. So I'm just going to select gray because that's probably going to match as close as possible for this PS5 theme. Uh, enable BGM, you pretty much always want on true. And then what we're going to do is drag in our con content icon. So you can just drag and drop them right in like this. Or you can click the icon and click replace image, which will allow you to browse for it. So again, we'll just copy all of these straight in. I know they're kind of showing gray right now instead of, uh, you know, what they look like on here on the file explorer. That's just because they're kind of slightly transparent. And uh, yeah, the theme creator doesn't really show that too well. So we're going to go ahead and drag that in all of our different custom icons that we've created. So we're going to drag those in. Uh, what else? We've got our disk overlay. We've got our folder icon. And then we can scroll along here to our last two, which are share play and TV and video. So that's us added those in right there. The next thing we have our function icon. So if you click on the function preview, again, you can click and replace any of the function icons manually or again, just drag and drop. So I've got some different function icons here. Not sure how well these are actually going to look on the PS5. May look a bit janky, but we'll give them a go anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and add these. So notification, friends. So we've got a friend icon, community icon, event icon, and then also the message icon, our chat icon, trophy icon, settings icon, and our power icon, which is right here. And then also, if you click on open project folder, which will take you to the actual install location of the PS5 theme. And if you go to texture function icons, you can see all of those function icons we just added. Um, so it, we just add, the theme creator just adds this blank glow effect, which um, basically just does nothing so that when you select one of these icons uh, on the actual PS4, all it will do is just kind of zoom in on the icon, make the icon kind of bigger, but that's just kind of the default behavior. If you want to add any kind of custom glow effect um, or some some other kind of icon that appears when the icon is actually selected on the PS4, then you can add it in here. You just have to call it the same name as the original PNG file with underscore glow at the end, uh, and it needs to be 152 by 152 pixels. Most people really don't bother doing that. It's just if you want some kind of custom selectable change when the icon is selected, uh, then you can add it if you want. So if I delete all of these kind of blank squares, and I'm just going to replace them with these icons that have this kind of purple ring around the icon, which is what it's going to look like when it's selected. So we'll just add those in as well, as you can see. So yeah, I don't know how good that's going to look. Might look a bit janky, but we'll see how it how it looks when we actually run it on the PS4. So yeah, that's the function icons and the content icons added. Okay, so the next section is the kind of font customization. So you can change the font color right here. You've got all your standard colors, as you can see. Uh, so you can customize that any way that you want. So for example, you can go to more colors. So I'm going to do probably just white for the font for a PS5 font. Uh, then also there's the shadow color, font shadow. So that's just kind of like, yeah, the shadow that the font leaves. So we can make that black and then go into more colors and just kind of maybe change the opacity. So you can change the opacity, the transparency to what you want. So we'll just make it barely visible. Same with the uh, focus color, I suppose. We'll just make that white and make it kind of barely visible maybe to about 10%. Then we've got the home screen dimmer, which is this bar at the top. It kind of comes down further and then kind of uh, slowly fades out further down. So you can change that. So home screen dimmer, I'll make it black and I'll make it only 10% opacity. So it's not very visible. Same thing with the function dimmer, which is the same thing for the function menu. So we can go ahead and do the same thing. We'll just make it black and go down to 10% opacity. There we go. And then finally, you've got the title name dimmer, which is this right here. You can see if I make it blue, you can see it highlights it. So yeah, it's just the kind of area behind the text on your content icons. So we'll just 
change this as well. Black 10% so it's not too visible. And there we go. Obviously, you can make it completely invisible by setting the opacity to zero. If you don't want it there at all, then that is another option. So now we come on to doing the sound. So for sound, a few different things to note. First of all, all of your sound files, initially, you want them in WAV format, .wav files. If it's an MP3 file or something, use an audio converter to convert it to a WAV file. So once it's WAV, we're then going to copy our theme, which is our background music. We're going to copy that into the main theme section and that will convert it to an 89 file, which is the kind of audio format that the PS4 uses. So next, if you have any sound bites for scrolling, selecting or cancelling, then we need to add those in, but we can't import them directly. The tool does not have the ability to convert to the correct audio format for the sound bites. So that's where the fake package tools comes in because there's the program in here in the fake package tools called VAG convert to W.exe. If you double click that and then get all of your soundbite files, your WAV files in, copy them into this program, click convert all, that will convert them to .vag files. So you've got cancel, scroll and select. So highlight your sound bites and then just drag them in again to the sound bites section. And then it's going to ask you what you want to use that sound bite for. So the scroll sound, I'm obviously going to use it for scrolling. The select sound, I'm going to use for selecting. And the cancel sound, I'm going to use for cancelling. That, that kind of sounds ridiculous. Why ask those questions? It's just in case you have your, your sound bites named differently, then it's going to ask you what you want to use them for. Or if you want to use the same sound bite for multiple things, then it's useful for that as well. So, so now we're just coming down to the finishing touches. So give the theme a title. So I'll call this PS5 theme and then a title ID. So I've renamed it to PSTC for PlayStation Theme Creator. And then there's a five digit number. So this is just your title ID. You don't want to use the same title ID for multiple themes because if you have one already installed and then you install another one on top of it, it will try and overwrite it because it will conflict if they both have the same title ID. It, the PS4 will not like that. So every time you make a new theme, just change the number every single time to a different number so that uh, the themes can be both installed on the PS4 at the same time uh, without conflicting with each other. So that's what you want to do there. So we'll just go with 9999 for now. Then we have the theme icon. You can click that button to browse for an icon or drag an icon on top. So once again, I will use just this generic PS5 icon I found on Google Images. I'll just drag that in. And now we have an icon for our theme. And then finally, once you're happy with everything, you can just hit the Create Theme button and that will go ahead and create your package file. If you're wondering why the hell the, the program just got smaller, it's uh, to do with uh, taking a screenshot of this uh, kind of canvas section. It takes a screenshot for the preview so that on the PS4, you'll have a preview of the screenshot of what the theme's going to look like, as well as the settings menu. So, and it will create our package file for installing on the PS4. So all we have to do is put that package file onto our USB drive and install it on the PS4. And congratulations, you'll have a custom theme. So that's how you create your own custom PS4 theme. But what about installing the permanent themes, which are official PS4 themes that people have dumped that you can install and actually apply permanently so that you don't, do not lose them when you restart the PS4? I'll just quickly show you how to get those as well. So for example, there's this post on Dark Software Forms that has loads and loads of official themes that you can download. Basically, you just need to like or reply to the post uh, and you'll be able to view the link. The link is a base64 string, which means you have to put it in a base64 decode to get the actual link that you can then copy right here. And here's all the different themes. You've got like a, a JPEG image showing you the preview of the theme. And then you can just, you know, right click and download it to your computer, as I've done right here. And then what you'll notice with the permanent themes is that you'll have two package files, uh, one and two. So you just have to install them on the PS4 in that order. So if we go ahead and copy them onto our PS4 or onto our USB drive and then plug that USB drive into our PS4. Okay, so here we are back onto the PS4. So what we're going to do is obviously run your internet browser 
load up your exploit host, whichever one you're using. So again, I'm still using carol218.ir. You are going to need this even for the permanent themes. You're going to need to uh, run your exploit and load up the gold hen payload or Mira in order to be able to access the debug settings so that you can install your custom themes or your permanent themes onto your PS4. So select the latest jailbreak and then run gold hen or Mira in order to be able to install your custom themes. So once you have either Mira or Hen running, you can then head into your settings, scroll down to uh, debug settings, game, package installer, and the package files on the USB drive should be visible. So we'll go ahead and install our custom theme first, our PS5 theme. And then when we install it, it should come up right here saying the theme's installed. If you press the middle button on your PS4, it will take you to the theme. And as you can see, we've got our preview on the left taken from the theme creator and our kind of settings menu on the right, which we set to gray. So if I go ahead and select apply, that will apply the theme. And hopefully you can hear we've got the PS5 background music playing. Let's listen to the scroll sounds. So as you can hear, we've got the PS5's uh, scroll, select and cancel noises working. The background music is working. And here's the theme. So we've got our background images. We've got all of our icons here. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about these icons, but you know, it is what it is. Um, a decent attempt, I guess you could say, at making a PS5 theme, but obviously it could be, it could be better. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that is how you create a custom theme for the PS4. So let's try and install a, a permanent theme now. So if we go into our settings, we go back to uh, debug settings, game, package, installer. And we're going to install the first package file. So you need to install the one that says underscore one first. So we install that one, as you can see, and then install the second one. Now, when you go to install the second one, it will say that the content has already been installed. Do you want to continue? Just say yes to overwrite. And there you go. So you must install both of them and you must install both of them in the correct order in order for it to work. So now I can hit the middle button on my PS4 and I can apply this theme. And there we go. We have this permanent theme applied as you can see right here. And it is working absolutely fine. And that is a permanent theme, so when I restart the PS4, this theme will stay on my PS4 the whole time. Um, but obviously with the custom theme, when you restart your PS4, you will lose the theme. Which is uh, a bit unfortunate, but it's just kind of the way it works with custom themes. So either install a permanent theme, an official one from PS4, uh, that you can install and keep on there permanently. Or just, you know, use sleep mode or something to keep your custom theme on for as long as possible. Obviously, you can just reapply the custom theme if you lose it after restarting the PS4. You just have to run Hen or Mira, and then you'll be able to reapply the theme again. So, yeah, that's it. That's how you create and customize the PS4 by creating your own custom themes and installing some permanent themes as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.